Woohoo! <laughs> No city wanted a Spaniard, a Spaniard playing tiki taka. Pep didn't want it, he couldn't stand it, he refused to so I. Now, come on, what was I supposed to do? There was only one man in town and his big beard was so fine. The cab was appointed to bring back tiki taka, he only got a job because Pep had a spatter. His skills as a manager didn't really matter, Pep hates tiki taka. Welcome back to Big Hat the Nerd and today's episode of Pep Hates Tiki Taka. We've come back just before the Porto game because we beat Newcastle 2-1, um, as you can see below. It was a scrappy game away, but we got the two goals, we won. And now we have Southampton and if we win this game, we win the Premier League. So let's just have a look at the Premier League. So we've got 81 points, Manchester United on 74, so a win here means they cannot uh, catch us even if we lose our last game. So I thought... We've been here the whole season. I can't not bring you winning the Premier League or potentially, potentially winning the Premier League. We are at home. We're against Southampton. And then we'll roll straight into the first leg against Porto, which means the next episode will be the second uh, Champions League semi-final leg two and either a game against Brighton to try and win the Premier League again or the Champions League final, possibly, depending on how it all goes. So well, let's get in. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we win the Premier League today because that'll be nice to get it done. So the squad... Oh, not squad tactics. Let's have a look. We are going for the rotated squad because the uh, Porto game is in two days. So we're trying to mix up as many people as possible. Savic got injured in the last game for five to six weeks, which is annoying because he did really well when he slotted in in that advanced playmaker role. But David Silva is going to sit in there. So we've gone for the rotated team. These are the guys that beat Bournemouth 6 1. So I'm okay with them playing. We've got Company um, and Kimmich back, and they're both in here just to get some fitness if. They're available. They'll definitely go on the bench, I think, for the Champions League um, semi-final leg one anyway. Um, but hopefully, you know, if they if Cumberley comes back, he may play. D defenders, I'm, just, I'm still not sure who my best two are. But let's get into the game. We know some of them are struggling with match sharpness. That's fine. You've only got to go out there and win this game to win the uh, Premier League. So we've had the team meeting. We've given the boost. Everyone was up for it, apart from Carl Walker. He said we should just be happy with where we are. Oh, Carl Walker, what are you doing? So we're going with Edison in goal, Mendy, Company, Denea and Kimmich as the back four, a bit of a changed back four. Stroutman and De Silva in the middle with Sane, Roberts, Silva and Gabriel Jesus up top. So definitely the B team. Looking at Gabby Diani always is, gets goals, doesn't he? For Southampton, Redmond's going to be a problem, top assist maker, but a 4-2-3-1. We've dealt with these before. Hopefully we can deal with them again. Let's give them an assertive. Um, do we want to go with... Show me what we can do to keep this run going. Oh. Uh, oh no, he doesn't like pressure. Let's leave it there. I don't want to put too much pressure on any of them because I don't want to flop right at the belly end. So let's go for the standard, close as many people down as we can get away with. Uh, tunnel. We want to win the title, but we also want to save our players for the Champions League. Because both of them are still alive. Right, game is underway. We are at home, hopefully. You know, being at home. The same team, pretty much the same team that played against Bournemouth. Oh, Bernardo Silva gets injured. Oh. Well, at least it was Bernardo Silva and not Mr. Sterling. But that doesn't mean I need to bring on Mr. Sterling. Or... Who do I bring on? Who do I bring on? Mm. Crap. I can't really rest people if I'm playing... Who's likely... I don't want to bring on Sterling because... He needs the biggest rest. Oh, this is hard. Do I bring on Sanchez? Let's bring on Sanchez. We'll sweep Sanchez and Sane over. Sane likes to be an inside forward. Um. Okay, let's go with that. We'll give Sanchez the run. Ooh, just punch the side. But oh, that's not good. We didn't want an injury. Not this early on anyway. I want to save Sterling because he's done so well this season that I'm hoping, hoping that he'll bring in, bring out the big guns in the rest of the Champions League games. Oh, we've got a penalty. Way. So who's stepping up for this one? Aguero, I'm assuming. Oh, Kimmich. Right back. That was an interesting choice for penalty taker. Why did Aguero not step up? And, uh, did Gabriel Jesus step up and take that? So we've missed a penalty in the first 20 minutes. That's good. Alexis Sanchez. Oh, great save there by Forster. That's annoying. 
good head there. Gabriel Jesus picks it up. Roberts out to Sane. Sane inside to Gabriel Jesus. Can he find Alexis Sanchez? He can. Back post. Oh, no. Oh, Roberts gets in. Gets brought down. Close again. We need to put one of these chances in, though. Clausen now. Oh, good tackle. Ball goes out. Oh, I can't believe he missed the penalty. Silver now. Short free kick. Company jumps. Gabriel Jesus. How did he miss from there? The goal kick as well. So he properly missed. Kimmich now. You need to make up for missing that penalty, son. Oh, that was a nice little click. Into a... Oh, he's brought down again. Okay. Okay, Stroutman's taking the penalty this time. Just like any old... Anyone taking penalties? Just try and get on the score sheet this season. Stroutman. Yes. There we go. Two penalties. He scored one. Missed one. Kevin Stroutman. Third goal of the season. 1-0. That was cool. Cool, calm, delivered. See? So you take penalties, Kimmich. Ah, oh, God. Just coming into half-time. Stratman's just picked up a knock as well. Bloody hell, Southampton. Even my B team are kicking. Back to four though. They're going to blow for half-time. Or is this going to actually come to something? Kimmich goes back to Edison. Edison clears. I thought that was going to be a mistake then. Silva into Sane. Roberts. Here we go. Gabriel Jesus. He's through. He's got a shot on. Bloody hell. That was wild. That was wild. He's not having a good game, is he? Come on. That's got to be half time. So let's have a look. Let's give them a... Assertive. Don't... Okay, guard against complacency. We'll leave Stroutman on. He seems to have recovered a bit. And I don't really want to bring on another player. Especially with Porter in two days. So second half is underway. Let's see how long Stratman lasts. I hope we don't pick up any more injuries. And hopefully get another goal. That'd be nice. Alexis Sanchez with a free kick now. Goes short to Silva. Ah, he plays it inside. Stratman gets there. About time. And then Denea. Right, Denea into Gabriel Jesus. Jesus. Ah, forced off a great save again. Silver now swings this in. Denea raises. Oh, rises. Roberts, edge of the box. Alexis Sanchez hits Gabriel Jesus, who was offside. Sometimes, sometimes I forget that these are, you know, A class players. Roberts now. Oh, close from the free kick. 60 minutes. We are dominating. Southampton have had the one shot, but it was on target. Always worried, though, when it's only one goal that they'll get something sneaky. Sanchez gets brought down. Gabriel Jesus is not through. Oh, good. Sanchez gets up. That's what I was worrying about. Denea, good head. Silva out to Sane. Sane finds Kimmich. Puts a, go puts a ball in. It wasn't that great. Roberts now. Out to Mendy. Can he put a better ball in? He can. Sane ri raise, rises. Rises. Heads and forces saves. Forces had a pretty good game. Kimmich still playing crap. I don't want to bring anyone else on. Gabriel Jesus playing crap. But whilst it's 1-0, I don't want to do anything. I need to save them legs on the bench. Profile into Harris. Stroutman, grid tackle there. Silva, Roberts. Big ball over the top. Sane into Gabriel Jesus. Oh, forced again. Man's injured. He's having a bloody game of his life. Silva now. No. Crap ball. Alexis. No. What was that? Mendy picks it. Oh, no. Alexis Sanchez has picked up a knock. Oh, my God. Gabriel Jesus can't hit the target. We've got three injuries in one game. If Sanchez is out, it means Sane might have to play. Or we play Gabriel Jesus out on the left, which has worked sometimes to some success. Roberts now. Oh, my God. Company's knackered as well. I'm just going to let this team run out. They should have scored. With 12 shots on target, we've only scored one goal. Six clear-cut chances, we've only scored one goal. Ridiculous, ridiculous conversion rate. Let's hope they don't pull something back now. What a game to win the Premier League on. A boring 1-0 win when we should have won by a lot more. We've got three players injured. Cedric now. Full time. It's all over. Manchester City have won the Premier League. It's a bit annoying it wasn't more of a rout. It should have been. Oh, do we not get the little ticker tape thing anymore? Ah, oh, I was playing for the ticker tape. 24 shots, 13 on target. We only scored one goal. Bloody hell. Six clear-cut chances. But we've done what we needed to do. 10 points clear. 
Oh, no. well, Man United still got to play, but 10 points clear at the moment. We have won the Premier League. So we've won one thing. The Champions League is still alive. Talk to team. Uh, let's go for... Uh, oh, congratulations. I forgot they won the title. I wanted to give him a bit of a rollicking for playing crap. So now we go to take on Porto in two days. Can we get the double? Can we get the Champions League to end this series? We're on a high. We need it. It's not been as successful as Gagan pressing. But we've won the Premier League this year. Can we get the Champions League? So I'll see you back in two days for the Porto game. Right, here we are. Back for the Porto game. We are away first leg, which I think is good. Knowing that if it goes to extra time or anything else, we'll be at home and we'll have a better chance. So away, we're going to go. We're going to try and score. And then we're going to defend. Defend our asses off. So we're going We're going out big guns. We're getting all the big boys back in the first team. They're all fully fit. We've done a good job of rotation. Bench is knackered, but that's fine. Even with those injuries, I think we'll do all right. So we have brought back... So we, And the only, the only dodgy one is we're going to have to play Gabriel Jesus out on the left as an inside forward instead of uh, Sanchez, who got injured. Sanchez's injury was pretty bad. He's going to be out for the rest of the season, I think. Oh, no, one to four days. So he could be back for the, he should be back for the next game. Bernardo Silva is the bad one, sorry. Out for two to three months. Savic still out for two to five weeks. He's pretty much gone as well. So Silva and Savic out now. Obviously, Mendy and Dene are not uh, eligible to play. But we've done a good job of rotation. We've got a bench. We've got defenders on the bench in two positions. That's good. We've not done that for a while. We've got two midfield players and we've got Robertson, Leroy, Sane. Sane may need to come on on the left if Jesus doesn't perform or if Jesus has to go up top to cover Aguero if he doesn't perform. But we'll see. We don't know what's going to happen until we get out there. So, uh, actually, what I was going to do on Dybala. Right. Is on the, when we play on the counter, put him on to hold up the ball. Because I think sometimes they all gun forward and that he could be the man to hold it up. But that's the team I'm going to go with. I don't like changing it here. I'll change it in the game. So we are lining up with, as I said, Edison, Sandro, Otamendi, Stones and Walker. Roberto and De Bruyne in the middle of Jesus, Dybala, Sterling and Aguero. TV don't turn off. And the Porto are lining up with Casillas in goal. 4-2-3-1, but with DM. So they're playing real defensive. And then looking, I'm assuming, to play long balls. Everton out on the left is their top assist maker. Soares is their top goal scorer. Oliver is their highest average rating, much like our Dybala is. So we'll see how they go. We'll see how we go. Two DMs. How are we going to play against two DMs? We've not played against this before, so I wonder if we do start attacking and see how it goes. And if we need to change, we'll change it up. Um, let's go for a passionate. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. Kind of worked. Although all a lot of them have got perfect morale, which is good to see. Those that do. Actually, we even keep Sandra in there. We'll go for an assertive. I want to see a good performance. Yes, that G'd a couple of them up. Right, let's get the opposite instructions done. Close down saws. Close down these guys because they are going to be out on their own. And actually, we can probably tight mark one of these dudes. Let's tight mark. I'm going to put tighter mark on them both on the on the DMs and see what happens. Well, no, that's a stupid idea. Let's just do it on one. Let's do it on Omar now. He looks like the one that may be further forward. He is a... Oh, I don't know what his best position and best role is because we've not scouted him appropriately. Good work, guys. We'll see how they go. We might switch that up. But if they're going to be the guys that are spraying out the balls, then we might need to close them down. Um, we're a good team. We look good in training. So here we go. Champions League semi-final. Oh, we're in the claret kit and I've got my purple jumper on. How lovely. Game's on the way. We're staying with attacking. We'll see how it goes from the beginning. Hopefully we can push up and by attacking and they've got DMs, we'll push it all into their half is the, the thinking. Greg gets the first shot off. 21 seconds in. He's warming up. Good to get the first shot away though. Now this is the key. First 10 minutes. Which way does it go? Oh, the key man has picked up a knock. That's good. And we've had two shots. So, I mean, I'm liking the way this has started. 90 minutes in first highlight. Dybala goes down. Oh, it's a red card. Okay, that's good. They've had a red card already. 20 minutes in. So, let's hope that that doesn't G him up. Because sometimes, you know, it sends stuff the wrong way. Sterling now. Gabriel Jesus. We go at the goal. They've just had a red card. Hopefully, we can just give him a complete drum in now. With away goals. And book ourselves straight into that Champions League final. 
Walker does well to get there. Plays it into Sterling. Sterling does what he's done all season. And Gabriel Jesus. Oh, that's what it works. Sterling as the winger and Gabriel Jesus as almost the second striker out on the left. That will hopefully take us the Champions League glory. If Jesus does well here, then he will be staying in. Another highlight, Walker with a throw in. 35 minutes in, Dybala now. Finds Roberto. Oh, he loves a long shot. <laughs> and it's, has it gone in? Sterling finds it. He smashes it towards Sterling. And there was Sterling, Bolly, and Casillas all at that front post. And somehow it's gone in. So Walker here finds Dybala. He finds Roberto. And Roberto's been pinging these all season as well. Oh, what an absolute mess. Three players and Sterling manages to... I think it hits him and it goes in. But we'll take that. Two goals. De Bruyne with a free kick. Oh, close. Skim the top of the bar. Guerrero playing at 6.5. Come on, mate. Everyone else is playing well. Roberto's picked up a yellow. We've got to watch that. We don't want anyone getting sent off now. Sterling's been on fire. That is good. Um, let's go for the calm. Don't let, you, don't let your levels drop. I should have given Aguero a little bit of a shout, actually. Because I don't really want to bring him off. That is 6.4. He's a captain as well. Come on, Aguero. I'll give an individual. Oh, I've clicked on his name. Oh, why would you put the hyperlinks there? God damn it. Aguero now. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, Roberto's been sent off. I called it out. I should have brought him off. Ah, damn it. I knew I should have brought him off when I saw that. De Bruyne is on a yellow as well. Oh, tits. Right, let's drop these guys back then. Dabala's going to have to drop back into central mid. He doesn't like it there, though. Um, De Bruyne, you're going to be... Let's just knock your tackle. Where's your tackling? He's off tackles because you're on a yellow card, mate. Uh, Sterling shouldn't get into trouble. And we're two 0 up. What do we go for? Let's go. Let's go to a counter. Let's go to a counter mentality. We've got the two away goals. Let's just not hope we don't give away the lead now. Although I suppose we've both we've both got ten men. But if we can get through the rest of this game without any highlights, I'll be very happy. Annoying that Roberto's going to miss it. Stratman can come back in though. Slot in there. He does a good job. Just annoys me that I called it and then he bloody did it. Sandra, can he put a ball inside? He can. Gabriel Jesus. Into Aguero. Into Sterling. Ah, Sterling. Come on. Three. One more goal would be real nice. To us, not to them. To us. Uh, right. Hang on, hang on. De Bruyne, let's just get him off. Get Silver on there. Let's just get off Sterling. Let's protect ourselves as much as possible. Only two minutes, but... Gomez now. They're going to come forward, Porto. Is this the end, though? It's got to be the end. Bow whistle. Yes. Full-time whistle goes. 2-0 up. If you take a 2-0 away advantage to home. Or to home? To the home leg against Porto. Roberto let me down there. Aguero let me down a bit as well. But that is good. We've done very well there. Well done. Um, let's get out of this then. So, that's gone well. That's a good episode. 2-0 away win in the Champions League. And we've won the Premier League. It doesn't get much better than that. So... Next time, it does make the scheduling for the next one a bit harder. So next one, will the next episode will be the Champions League semi-final second leg. And then hopefully the Champions League final. Um, I'm hoping you don't see an extremely short episode and realise that we cocked it all up and got knocked out. But that will be it, hopefully. We cruise through the semi -leg, uh, semi-final leg two and then we have that Champions League final against either Juve or Inter. Actually, let's have a look how they got on. Oh, they've not played yet. So we'll have to find out next time. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, smash that like button. If you are new, subscribe. And I shall see you next time for what will be the last episode of the series. We finish this Manchester City save before we move on to something new. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.